Hello, my name is Gio, and this is Brew Better, the Apple Box Edition. In this series, we'll be introducing you different coffees from different parts of the world and how we brew these coffees to help guide you on how to brew better. For today, I'll be brewing a coffee from Abu Panama, produced by Jose Lottrell. This is a natural process geisha from the Lot 6N. And in this coffee, we experience flavors of lychee, amaretto sour, white grapes, and pineapple. This coffee was grown at an altitude of 1,800 meters above sea level in Cañas Verdes, Panama. Now, how we will be brewing this coffee is through a V60. We will be using 15 grams of coffee and we will be brewing it to 240 ml of water. And for our water, we will be using 100 ppm and at the same time, a water temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. Now, we pre-ground this coffee using a Comandante with 22 clicks that will help us give a total brewing time of 2 minutes and 20 seconds to 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Our paper filter that we use for these geishas is either a KFEC light rose filter or abaca filter. And our target TDS for this coffee is 1.4 to 1.45. Now, uh, what we recommend is you let the coffee rest for about 20 days before you start brewing. Um, this is where we found the sweet spot for these geishas from Panama and at the same time our roast profile for this coffee. Now, let's start brewing. So I'm dosing 15 grams of coffee and I'll be brewing it with 240 ml of water. Pouring 40 ml of water by evenly saturating the coffee grounds. And we saturated the coffee bed before five seconds. And after 25 seconds, let's pour again another 100 ml. At this part, we started from the side and then focus on the center. And for our last 100 ml pour, we'll be focusing from the center and let's do a quick cleanup from the side to bring back the coffee grounds that are stuck at the side of the paper filter. So here at one minute, let's pour starting from the center and then focusing on the side. And then pour it with a faster flow rate. So now we ended up at 240 ml. So what we've noticed is that by pouring more volume of water at the second pour, it helps us increase the sweetness of the coffee. And now we're done extracting. At two minutes and 20 seconds, the coffee bed has dried up. And then let's separate the dripper. And let's enjoy the aroma. So from the aroma, you, you're greeted with a nice pineapple. You also get that nice lychee. And now let's pour the coffee to the cup. So when the coffee is hot, you get the taste from the cupping spoon. When it's hot, you get that nice flavors of lychee. It also has that brightness similar to an amaretto sour, where it's sparkling. At the same time, it has that nice tropical fruit acidity. And flavors of pineapple and white grapes are starting to show up. Let's let the coffee cool down for a little bit, and then let's experience the coffee at its when it cools down. It's a natural processed geisha, but at the same time, it tastes very clean. It tastes very vibrant. You get that nice pineapple, lychee, amaretto sour. You also get that nice white grape, similar to drinking white wine. From the Abu box, this is my personal favorite coffee because I always enjoy that nice pineapple, lychee flavor profile. And I hope you get to experience this coffee. Always remember that the best coffee is a coffee that suits you. It should be something that you prefer. Feel free to share with us your brewing method and experience with this coffee. Cheers and don't stop brewing.